Hello. My name's Ashley. You're Margaret, right? I am. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So I'm just going to be talking to you for a little bit about um, some stuff that I see in your chart here about um, you're concerned about your weight. Oh, yes. Um, so what about your weight is so concerning at this point? Because it seems to be leading to a diabetic situation that I'm very concerned about. Okay. So you're definitely concerned about, you know, diabetes and, you know, would you say the long-term consequences of, you know, what that's going to entail? Definitely. Anything else about that that's really concerning? Any specific aspect of the diabetes? I guess having to be, um, end up like my dad, where the insulin wasn't enough, and now he's on dialysis, and he's lost a leg. So it's really scary to think yeah. about what might happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and does anyone else in your family have issues with diabetes or any other complications from weight? My mom and sister are both very overweight, and my mom has more, well, probably my sister too, more arthritis than anything else and hypertension. So, yeah, we're all not in a really good place. So the diabetes is sort of the number one concern, but, you know, based on your family history, there's some other things that might be worrying you about, right. about this. Right. So, um, you know, in terms of your weight, what types of, you know, things have you maybe tried before or are you comfortable thinking about? You know, have you thought about any strategies for, you know? I've tried a couple different diets, and obviously they didn't work because I'm still struggling. Um, and now I'm really seeing how the effects of um, my energy, the effects of feeling joint pain, not sleeping well, things like that, are starting to be issues with me also, just like they were for my mom and sister. So, you know, it sounds like you've had some success in the past of trying different diets, but long term they haven't. They, they haven't worked out. Right. Um, but you, you've tried some diets. Anything else that you've tried? Not really. I guess I figured that's what I needed to do. So do you think that, um, you know, in terms of trying to lose weight or to, you know, stave off the consequences of diabetes and, you know, hypertension, things like that, is the diet something that, you know, you would be most concerned with or have you thought about exercise at all? I know that that they certainly say that the two go hand in hand and that um, that it's harder to exercise when you are overweight because everything hurts more and you're not as flexible and whatever. So I guess I thought, well, I really need to concentrate on the losing weight part. Okay. Um, well, so that makes that makes sense that, you know, you're concerned about, you know, limitations with exercising. So the diet might be something more feasible to focus on your eating. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so um, what other things are, you know, sort of concerning you other than, you know, health consequences and your family? You know, do you have, you know, what, what other benefits do you see you would get from, you know, losing weight? Are there well, I know that I would have more energy, and I, at least that's what people tell me, and that I would feel, I would feel that I was setting a better example and standard for my children. So it's really important to you to set a good example for your kids and be healthy, as you know, so that they can see that. Right, they're seeing the other part of it, so I, I think they get it anyway, but, you know, then I'm sure that they just see it philosophically. They don't get to see the real deal. Right, so they, they maybe don't understand. You're worried that maybe they don't understand the struggle and the effort that gets put into it sort of behind the scenes, but you, you want to have a good example for them? I think that they, that they understand it intellectually. But certainly, if you look at our family, you wouldn't see it being carried out. I see. So it's it's more that maybe they understand how important it is to lose weight, but that's not the example that's been present. No, it is not. Um, so, you know, you've, you've tried these previous diets, and they didn't work. Um, but, you know, what was it about the diets that didn't work for you? 
what made them challenging? I think the fact that I couldn't figure out how to sustain it. That it felt as if if I if this is the way I had to now live, I couldn't figure out how to do that except temporarily. I see. So it was pretty overwhelming to think that you were going to make this change and that you're going to have to maintain that change for forever. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay. Yeah. So maybe not so much that it was overwhelming, but just that it, you, were, you were frustrated with not knowing how to implement it long term? I think I didn't feel as if it was a natural way that I saw my friends and family living. That, the, I mean, it was very outside the norm. So you were sort of, when you were trying these diets, you felt like you were sort of at war with what everyone else in the family was doing because you were making changes yeah. that they weren't making. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I would like to talk to you a little bit about, you know, what we've gone over so far. Mm -hmm. So you're concerned about, you know, wanting to lose weight, specifically with, you know, health issues and, you know, concerned about diabetes. And then, you know, there's also some other health issues, hypertension, arthritis that run in your family. Um, so this is definitely something you'd like to, to work on, um, but you just don't really know the right strategy because you've tried some diets and they just didn't feel like, you know, a normal way to, you know, go through life, and especially with, you know, the way your family is. Um, but, you know, you do see the benefits of losing weight and that you'd have more energy, you'd be setting a good example for your children. Mm -hmm. So is there anything about that that you would change or anything that I might have missed? Well, I'm also probably as worried about the health risks for myself as anything else, that I don't want to be the next one in line that's waiting for my dialysis. Right, so that's really scary to think that that, mm -hmm. could, that could be coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially, you know, if you've seen that I, mean, I, know, I know what it's like. Yeah. yeah. I've taken them. Yeah, so you're definitely worried about that. Mm -hmm. So talking about how, you know, we've identified some of the things that might be important to you that are sort of, you know, motivating you to want to wanna lose weight, um, I'm going to show you this little scale here. So on a scale from 0 to 10, mm -hmm. how important is it that you, you know, lose some weight? The 10 being most important. Probably like a 7 or an 8. A 7 or an 8. Mm -hmm. okay. So other than the things we've already talked about with, you know, wanting to protect your health and, you know, um, setting a good example for your children, is there anything else that, you know, is driving it to be important? Is there anything else that, you know, is influencing your decision? Or is it mostly just it's the health? the health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that sounds like it's understandable. <laughs> um, is there, you know, if you think about why you didn't give it a lower number, it, that health is really important to you. Oh, definitely. Okay. And then thinking about, you know, trying to, you know, implement some kind of strategy to help you lose weight, um, how confident on a scale from 0 to 10, with 0 being not at all confident, to 10 being really extremely confident, how confident are you that you think you could, you know, make some kind of change to lose weight? Well, after trying all those times and not being very successful, probably like a three. Okay. So you've definitely experienced some, you know, um, difficulty in the past. So that's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, wearing on your confidence. So what, what do you think would need to happen to get that confidence number up? What would help you make more, you know, feel more confident hmm. about? I think if I knew that... And I think I'm more worried about the medical of it now. If I knew that medically this would work okay. and that it's something that had been, oh, well, proven is probably a hard word, but had, had worked, that people knew that it worked for a lot of people. It wasn't just, well, maybe this will work for you. You know, it's not, I don't want one more of those maybe this will work for you things. Right. You, you want to feel really confident that, you know, you can do this because it's worked for other people. You want, it's you want almost to know like when you, if you break your arm or something like that, you don't try five different things that might set it. You know the thing that you know that, you know, that, that it, two or three things, depending upon your break, have to be done. And I guess that's what I'm looking for. What are my choices of we know these two or three or maybe it's only one, I don't know. 
We know this works. Right. We know it works. Right. Because you don't want to spend time being frustrated, you know, putting effort into something that isn't going to give you the results. No, I've done that, apparently. <laughs> so if you're going to invest the time, you want to make sure that it's, that it's something that's going to do it. Right. Um, but you also, you know, mentioned before that you're concerned that it's, you know, not something, you know, with the diets that you've tried before, that it's not something that um, was easy to incorporate into your day-to-day -day life. So would you say that in addition to it being something that's proven, it also needs to be something that sort of fits in with, you know? Yeah, in other words, I can't, I can't give up my job, and I can't have the kids, you know, lives turned upside down if I don't have to, just so that I can do this, but... Um, I, I guess I'm thinking, well, there's probably something that fits in that I just am not paying attention to. Or maybe it's just something you haven't heard of yet. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, so we've already talked about how important it is that you, you know, maintain your health um, and that your kids are really important to you. Um, sometimes it helps to think about these things that are important and that you value in life in order to sort of you know, see how your behavior might fit into that. Uh -huh. So if you want to take a look at this list, and in addition to those, you know, health and your children, uh -huh. um, is, is there anything else on this list that, um, you know, is important to you that you value? Well, gracious. I know there's lots to choose from. I mean, <laughs> you really sort of want to be all those things, don't you? Um, well, if you had to pick your top. Couple, oh, okay. I'd like to be more in control of of my own um, nutrition. Um, I feel like right now the fast food industry is in control of it. Um, I'd certainly like to be more energetic. I would like to be successful at whatever it is that I pick. Okay. Or what gets picked for me. I don't even know what to pick. And, and I do, I mean, I want to... Like you said, I want to be a good parent. Okay. So you were also talking about, you know, success and energy. And, you know, we sort of touched on some of those things with, you know, in addition to your health. If you uh -huh. can maintain your health, then you'll, you know, be more energetic. Um, but you also mentioned in control, and, and you brought up, you know, fast food. So, you know, is, is fast food something that you're currently, you know, eating? Oh, yeah, often? way too much. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and would you say that that's because... Um, of convenience, or, or why why is fast food you know such a staple? Probably because number one, it is convenient, but number two, um, our schedule and why our I mean the t the kids in mind is such that I really don't feel that I have the time to put into. Um, Okay, let's go home. I'll make dinner. You know, it'll be more nutritious. That type of thing. I, I really don't feel that our schedule supports that. Okay. Um. So it sounds like from you know everything we've talked about with your schedule being you know kind of hectic and you know with the job and the kids and all that um, that you know maybe if there were some healthy you know recipes or you know some healthier options that you know could be incorporated that that might you know work for you as long as it was, you know, easy on time and not too complicated? I guess I don't care about the complication as much. I just care about does, I mean, they have homework, they have their activities, I have to get ready for the next day, you know, we, and those types of things. Do, is it something that makes us change our lifestyle? Or can we still have go to work, go to school, go to our activities, or their activities, and, you know, do those kinds of things and maintain the stability of our lives and them having their friends and different things, or is this going to turn everything upside down? Right. So, so you're concerned that, you know, even though making a change is important to you for, you know, your health and your family, uh -huh. you're concerned that, you know, this might really disrupt things and this might really, you know, kind of, you know, stick a wedge into your normal routine and the right. things that you guys enjoy doing. Right. But, you know, it sounds like maybe if there was, you know, something that could help you eat a little better, but also fit into that normal lifestyle, that that might work for you. Yes. Okay. So, um, if it's okay with you, I'd like to maybe talk to you about some things that have worked for some other um, sure. patients. Okay. So, um, 
There are some things that you can make that are healthy that can, you know, easily be picked up for snacks or meals that, you know, you can throw in a crock pot or something so that there's no prep when you get home and you're busy. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, some things like that work that are quicker or maybe, you know, I could give you some information if you'd be interested about some, you know, quick eating out options that might be healthier for you so that if you are pressed for time that, you know, you can make a, a healthier choice. Well, that would be good. Okay. So would you prefer that, you know, I give you some of this information, you know, websites or do you want me to give you a written list or a brochure? Oh, either one works. I We have access probably to get if you have websites you know that to to go to okay. or if you have things that you know already work with other people and there's sort of like a little packet or something that would be great too okay yeah i can um i can grab you some information about some websites that have some tips and ideas for mm -hmm. you know incorporating healthy snacks on the go mm -hmm. um and i can also give you some web some uh, recipes for okay. some easy meals to make okay does that sound good yes mm -hmm. okay so um i just like to sort of go over what we've talked about um so you want to you want to lose weight and this is you know super important but it just doesn't really fit into your schedule and you've tried other things and they just haven't really worked out um but it's really important to you because you you want to preserve your health and stay healthy not just for yourself because you know that being unhealthy and you know having diabetes and hypertension that you know that's not a pleasant way to live right um, but you also want to have more energy and be able to you know spend time with your family and be successful at work and um, so losing weight is really important mm -hmm. but because you've tried some other things that haven't really worked you, you're just looking for that one thing that's going to sort of be the ticket yeah what is it that <laughs> that I apparently haven't tried well, I think, um, you know, so we were talking about maybe some healthy recipes that would be easy to prepare, that would fit into your schedule, and some tips for, you know, healthier options on the go and some snacks and things like that. Uh -huh. um, and I think what's really important is that, you know, there, I know you're looking for sort of that one, one ticket that's golden, but um, little changes, even if they're small, that that's a really good step for helping to, you know, stay healthy, get the vitamins you need, and maintain a healthy weight. So I know you were concerned about this is going to disrupt your life, but I think maybe some of those, you know, smaller changes might be good to, you know, fit in uh -huh. and, and not sort of take over. Uh -huh. So maybe something that you could sustain. Okay. Um, is there anything that we talked about today that I sort of missed in that summary, or is there anything that we haven't covered yet that you thought of that you'd like to include? Um, is this something that that you think that um, is doable over a long period of time, or is this, again, just one of those, you know, um, kind of like, low-carb diets or something like that? Well, I think things like low-carb diets, you know, that's really restrictive, you know, and um, it sounded like when you've tried things like that before that it sort of took over and it was too hard to maintain because, you know, it was a change that you had to make at every meal all the time. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, just incorporating some healthier options like, you know, eating fruit for dessert instead of, you know, a brownie or something, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. little changes like that, uh -huh. um, you know, even if they're, you know, just once a day or whatever, changes like that can help in the long term. Okay. And it has worked for other people to just, you know, substitute some things. Because, okay. you know, eating the foods you enjoy is, you know, important, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm not, I don't want you to have to give up everything, you uh -huh. know, because that's, you know, not going to be something that you can stick with. But, you know, making some choices, you know, and for your family, too, eating meals at home gives you guys more time together since so it sounds like you are very busy. So I think it's something that, you know, could last for a while. Okay. But, you know, try it out and we can, you know, talk about it again All and right. see, you know, what, you know, what's working, what's not working. Okay. So do you have any other questions? No, I guess that's what I'll try, you know, when you give me that information. Okay, sounds good. Well, I will get that together for you. It was nice to meet you. Okay. So we can have a little bit more time feedback because we did our not.